we're beyond sympathy at this point. Sympathy is what's killing y'all. This solicitation of sympathy, this solicitation of pity, this desire to accommodate weakness. Shouts out to the big homie. Whatever you want, your world is yours. I'm at the threshold where I have way more contempt than sympathy. The sympathy is out the door. When do you become embarrassed? Like, for your own sake and through your own lens, for your own self-respect of what you are literally allowing yourself to be and the low degrees of operation that you consistently, habitually construct a lying, self-cheating, self-deceiving individual. This, it, How do you let yourself be this? Whatever you are, your world is yours. So I moved through the streets yesterday. I'm walking to the park because I, I go to the park at different times in the day to find my center. Fort Green Park, that's the axis of a lot for me. You feel me? That pillar represents a lot for me. So I go to the park sometimes at sunset just to zone out. So I'm walk, I walk to the park and I encounter an individual. And when you move with this level of intensity and clarity, trust me, when you move in a highly populated and very cramped city like New York, you're gonna brush up with a lot of individuals. And as they perceive you, they're gonna try to perceive that you're the problem. But you're just hyper aware that one, they see this magnificent being who possesses all of these qualities that make them instantaneously recognize their own inadequacies. And then when you stay in that energy and don't do some funny shit to accommodate this shit or act like shit ain't happening, you just be. Motherfuckers start feeling that shit. Why are you angry? Why are you? I'm not angry. I'm calm. I'm so calm that it's actually making you feel like, how is he this calm? Anyway, so I'm walking to the park. I get to the park. I meet an individual that I know from the past. And like, why do you seem so, why, why are you so angry? What's up? I'm like, I'm not angry at all. Like, I'm just, I'm in such a deep level of stoicism that it's, but then I thought, and I said, hmm, what they're picking up is that I'm walking with an extreme contempt. The word is contempt for the levels of mediocrity that I'm swarmed and surrounded by. Whatever you are, your world is yours. It's because I see so much value in the individual any individual. I see so much value and potential in all humans to be something that when you truly get to the heightened awareness and the enlightenment, not just the saying, but the true deep knowing of everybody is a product of their conduct and that superior conduct is what's going to create a superior product and that you are a product of your conduct. So superior conduct is going to make a superior you. But when we look around and we see all these different varieties of just missing, like you see a sloppy motherfucker, you see a broke mother, you could just tell. You can read the energy. If you simply stay in your divine truth, you can read energy. That's mad cool. Look at that plane fly by, mad close to me. Anyway, real life though. So I'm just at the point where I'm not changing my energy and acting like shit don't exist because 99 out of 100 people are literally walking around repressing facts. You can't deny the, the realities at hand, but y'all spend so much time repressing your awareness of what needs attention because it will require effort that you don't even realize that you're just consistently trying to blind yourself out to reality. I just stopped doing that. I don't have a need for that. Anybody who's on drug, that's why y'all not sober because y'all had to need to repress some shit that you don't feel like dealing with whether that's your own fucking self-esteem your, your own conduct your own past with yourself some in irreconciled situation with your own psyche or that could be something with your environment that you just letting shit stockpile and stack up on top of you whatever it is anxiety depression just the matters of which direction you projecting your self-obsession right whatever you are your world is yours he's a fucking genius anyway so most people just spend their time being fake as fuck and you get to that point where you're not. So then I'm walking through, I'm walking on the earth. I'm walking the earth and I'm seeing all of these people operating 
with such inferior conduct. And the worst part about it, y'all wanna know the worst part? Is that most people are inspired to hostility. They're inspired towards hostility towards the superior conducting individual. Instead of inspired to curiosity, me, Shiki Shik, the soul that is within this body, was always the curious individual. I always had this puzzling, inquisitive look to me since I was born, really. Could look at any picture since I was a child. A deep observer. Some of us are just born like this. We didn't choose this shit. It's just what we are, right? Inspired by curiosity. Whenever I see somebody winning, I'm like, oh, how? Like, what are they doing? What? How can I start to win? Like, I get inspired. I tell y'all, it's this, it's this childlike, like, wow, so fucking cool. But most of these blundering dickheads out here in these streets, in these hallways, in these everywhere, it could be in these buildings. It don't matter what the fuck. I mean, in this, yeah, listen. Most people are inspired towards hostility. Because it makes them aware of their own inadequacies and they're not ready to face and admit their own inferior conduct. So I say all of that because I'm at the point where sympathy isn't working for no one, bro. Nobody has time for sympathy. Fuck sympathy. Gabos, motherfucker, real gangster shit. Gabos, G A B O S. Game ain't based on sympathy. That's some real prison shit, you feel me? Whatever you why your world is yours. I ain't never been to prison, but y'all gotta understand, like, the people that I looked up to, the people that I respected the most, because I do have this inner self that's that thinks very on along the lines of not agreeable with society and a lot of bullshit. But that's why I've become this highly refined, highly enlightened being, because I just don't repress that energy. I don't I sublimate it. It's not transmutation, it's sublimation. It's taking the energy and just redirecting it and, and putting it in a different end. So I could put that creative energy into destruction or I could put that into construction, right? I could put that into finding more harmony or creating disharmony. Disharmony is easy to make. It's not hard to make disharmony. Anyway, so you got to look at the fact that like in prison, the greatest part about it, this is why I fuck with people who, like, if you look at any of my influences, likely they've been to prison, you feel me? Um, or they face some time, or they would, you know what I'm saying? When you in there, it's all conduct, homie. You're not about to do no funny, flagrant shit. You're not about to walk around sending off weird energy. You're not about to do no funny, inferior conduct. Your conduct gotta be tight, or you might get zipped up, you feel me? And that's just real life. That's what the general society doesn't realize, that they, they live with this buffer of protection, whether it's the fucking legal system or people hide behind money or pe it's like. <sighs> Y'all conduct out here is trash. If you were put in a situation where you had to actually reap the repercussions of what you're asking for with your conduct, it'd be crazy. Back to gabbles. You feel me? My whole point with this video is that. I'm moving with way more contempt. And after a while, you just see what you don't want to be. You look at other individuals because everybody's an example. You are currently an example. So what are you an example of? What kind of conduct has created you? So everything that you are is a reflection of everything that you are. So when we look at you, it's like what you're you're an example of your conduct, of every every piece of conduct, your whole entire constitution of conduct. Your whole body of conduct. You are an example of that. So now I look at individuals. I just get really grateful. I'm like, ah, I just don't want to be like any of this shit. I don't want to be like any of this shit. Oh my God, I just want to be. Motherfuckers be broke. Motherfuckers be a dope head. Motherfuckers be dope heads. Motherfuckers be doped out. Motherfuckers be afraid to live their lives. Motherfuckers be repressed. Motherfuckers be hostile instead of curious. Motherfuckers don't ask no questions. Motherfuckers be stupid. Right? Right. Motherfuckers be poor because they're choosing to not step outside of their self-center and basically just rendering themselves into poverty. Why do you why your world is yours? Poverty is more than a financial situation. It is a financial situation as well. But we're living prosperity on full blast. Sober and fit and enlightened 
and getting rich and then really helping everybody else around us produce the same level of full blast prosperity. But like I always say, at this point, your conduct is yours. So we can't conduct you for you. We can't be you for you. You have to be the one who conducts themselves in a superior fashion to then earn themselves and elevate themselves to a superior place of existence. Every, this is karma. This is karma being articulated through Shiki Shik in a way that hopefully you can finally comprehend it as not some abstract, impractical, hearsay, she fucking bullshit. You dig? Why do you why your world is yours? Superior conduct, superior deeds, superior actions lift you into superior states of existence. This is timeless information has been passed down through all religions and texts and philosophies. Like, this is nothing fucking new. I'm saying it's just being told through a modern lens. Inferior conduct, inferior deeds, poor karma is going to descend you down the ladder, dog. You know what I'm saying? Heaven on earth is, is, is pro, it proceeds from yeah, superior conduct, heavenly conduct, godly conduct. Walking around here addicted or broke or out of shape or just dumb as shit. Walking around hostile instead of curious. You should really pay attention to what I just said. Everything that I just said. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Consider the vibrations raised. I don't got no more sympathy in me, bro. Because y'all are choosing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you chose that inferior conduct for whatever reason you chose it for. Or you chose not superior conduct for whatever reason you chose it for. It's worse that you didn't choose superior conduct more than you chose inferior conduct, right? The fact that you chose not to choose superior conduct... That shows a lot about you, you know what I'm saying? So everybody's their own fault at this point. You know, I'm just glad to have been awakened and to awaken and then to not just have the awareness, but to actually make the change because to have awareness and not change is more stupid than to not have awareness at all. Remember that shit. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Consider the vibrations raised. Evolution, the only solution. Self-mastery, the only success. Growth is the only freedom. Evolution is the only mental health. And real life, what the fuck are you doing if you are not literally becoming exactly what you know you're being called to be? Like, how did I even sound? Whatever you are, your world is yours. Consider the vibrations raised. Get involved with the evolution. A lot of y'all are communicating that insignificant amounts of money are significant to you, aka you think a little bit amount of money is a lot of money, which shows that you have a real poverty consciousness. On top of that, a lot of you are communicating that that insignificant amount of money is worth more than your growth. When you get to the point where nothing is worth more than growth, then you'll be in a perpetual state of prosperity because you'll always be growing. And the more you grow, the more you, you'll be. And the more you be, the more you have access to and become. So, you know, poverty consciousness is a very complex situation. Why do you why your world is yours? Consider the vibrations, right?